Patience is the key to success. The one thing you have to keep in mind while training your puppy anything is to be patient and maintain the consistency. Puppies have a short span of attention and are easily distractible. So the correct time to teach the simple obedience command like sit, stand, stay is seven to eight weeks of age. But some trainers start training as soon as the puppies open their eyes and start walking. So today we'll show you how to leash train your puppy in just three simple steps. Some pups take the collar and leash easily, but some don't. And for that, you have to keep exercising with your puppy for a time because it won't only teach your puppy to walk on a leash, but it will also teach them to be obedient and responsive. Before we start, make sure you like the video at the end and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please hit the bell button to get notified every time we post our new video. Also, follow and like us on Instagram and Facebook. Let's begin with no further ado. Start with the right leash. Picking up the right one is very important. We recommend you to pick up a light collar with a simple lightweight leash for your puppy. You can move on to other collars and leashes anytime you want, but until your puppy doesn't get trained well for leash, stay on the first one. Always take baby steps. First, try to introduce your puppy with the collar and leash. We know it will be hard to put on the collar on your puppy as they are very curious and might get nervous. So if your pup barks at you and tries to chew on the collar, you can follow these simple steps. Distract your pup while putting on the collar by playing with him. You can also take him out in the yard where he'll find a lot of things to get distracted. Or bring out the favorite toy. Let him play or do whatever he likes to do more with his toy. Or you can reward him simply. You can divert his mind by giving him a few tasty treats and in the meantime, you'll simply slide the collar on his neck. Don't put it tight to make him uncomfortable. Or you can simply put it during his or her mealtime. If he scratches the collar or tries to bite it, remember to distract him with a treat, toy, or just play with him. Now, once he's okay with the collar, attach the leash to their collar and drop the other end. Let him drag it around. Play with your puppy and let him do whatever he wants. Second, practice it inside first. You should make a habit of carrying a treat bag with you. Carry different, tiny, easily chewable treats in the bag and start the session. Attach the leash to his collar and give him just two to three treats. Some puppies get very excited on seeing a leash and start barking, spinning, or biting it. During that, just stand calmly and let them calm down too. Never pull the leash or scold him for that. Now, start it by calling your puppy with a cue like a call, come, or a clicker, as people use the clicker too for commands. If he comes to you, then reward him with a treat. Go three to four steps away from him and call him again. If he comes, reward him again. Now that he reacts when you call him, show him the treat and call again. As he comes to you, back up a few paces and reward when he gets to you. Repeat this process until your puppy walks a few paces along with you upon hearing you calling him. Remember, puppies have short patience. Keep your session short and end them even if they want to practice it more. Third, take him outside. When he's finally listening to you, whenever you call him, he's ready to go out. Be ready to face new challenges outside. Your puppy will definitely lunge onto something or get distracted by sound, smell, or sight he'll encounter there because these things are new and intriguing to him. So it's important to keep your eyes onto your puppy every time on his first walk. As you feel he's about to or getting distracted, give him a call and reward him with a treat when he comes. Then show him the treat in your hand and start walking so that he'll start following you. Keep the first walk short, and to make it possible, you have to be patient all the time. Just remember to call and reward him as he gets distracted. And that's it! My advice is to take your puppy on frequent walks as much as you can, because practice will make your pup perfect. This will reinforce the practice of walking on the leash for your dog so he doesn't forget what he learned. Now, most importantly, what you're going to face during the outside practice is bad behavior. The bad behavior includes pulling the leash, sit or lay down during the walk, lunge onto something, biting the leash. If your puppy pulls the leash by grabbing it in his mouth and resists to move any further, just sit in front of him and pull a treat out and call him. 
As he sees the treat, he'll drop the leash from his mouth and run towards you. Reward him right away. Then stand and show him a treat and start walking. He'll start walking with you too. Repeat the process if he again pulls the leash. If your puppy sits or lays down while walking, step a little far away from him and call him by showing a treat. Reward him instantly as he comes to you and continues walking until he sits again. Repeat the process every time. Oh, are you struggling to teach your puppy how to stay in command? Well, our next video will surely help you with this. The link of the video will be in the description box below. If your puppy lunges onto something, then don't do anything. Just stand still like a tree and don't move. He'll drop all his power into lunging, but later he'll realize that he's not going to get it by doing this. Wait for him to settle down, then give him a treat and a little praise and start walking. If he does this again, repeat the process. If your puppy is barking on other dogs or puppies, people or skateboarders in the park, don't draw the leash or scold him for that. As we told you before that they are easy to get distracted, so the puppy might be wanting to play with them, or he got frustrated, so don't get hyper. Just sit on your knees, grab a treat from the bag, and call out your puppy. If he comes back, reward him right away, and if not, just take him up in your arms and go to a more secluded place to start over again. And if the little naughty one bites his leash, distract him with a treat. Go a few steps back and call him. Keep moving with the treat in your hand and give him as he follows you a few paces. Perform this calmly and consistently every time he shows up bad behavior. Slowly but surely he'll accept the leash and walk with you like a good boy. Yeah, that's how you do it. Always cherish all the small steps which you'll achieve, and in time those little steps will become big steps you wish to achieve. Please give it a try, and let us know how did it go with your pup in the comment section below. Your feedback is always appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share our video with our friends and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Want to get your dog featured? Submit your video at moncudog.com.